All right, in this video, example number three of the med dosage introduction, and now we're going to do a multi-step problem involving rates. We have not talked about rates up until this point. Example one and example two, in all honesty, example two, these were faster examples because they were one-step problems, whereas example one was a multi-step because we had to convert from miles to feet to inches. However, with example one and example two, these are not rates. All we had to do for these examples was convert one unit of measurement to another unit of measurement that was very similar. For example, minutes to seconds, they're both measurements of time. Inches to feet, they're both measurements of length. Pounds to ounces, those are both measures of weight. Example one, we were converting inches to miles. Those are both measurements of length. Here is a rate, and these are the things that you're going to be running across in nursing school, so to speak. Not 60 miles per hour, but a rate, whether it be milliliters per hour, grams per day. So a rate is going to involve two units of measurement. For example here, miles per hour. If you are driving at a rate of 60 miles per hour, what is your rate in feet per second? This is a multi-step problem because we're trying to go from miles per hour to feet per second. So let's take what we know. We know we are traveling 60 miles per hour, and I'm going to write that like this. 60 miles per one hour. Our goal is to get an answer that is in feet per second. So I'm going to do some number of feet per second. Therefore, our goal is to get rid of the word miles and convert it to feet, and then we have to get rid of the word hours and convert it to seconds. A useful conversion that we did use back in example one was the fact that we had miles and feet right here. Well, we're going to use that conversion again. So one mile was 5,280 feet. Watch how I'm going to write this. I'm going to write one mile at the bottom 5,280 feet at the top. Just like in the first two examples, we are trying to get rid of words. Miles cancels out and check out the word we have up top now. We have feet. Awesome. Now we want to get rid of the word hours and we want to be left with seconds. Now some of you may know that 3,600 seconds are in an hour, but if you don't know that, don't stress about it. You don't have to memorize that because we probably do know that one hour is the same thing as 60 minutes. And take note of how I wrote this here. We are trying to get rid of words and we can get rid of the word hour here because we have an hour at the bottom, we have an hour word at the top. The word that we have left now in our denominator is minutes. We don't want minutes, we want seconds. So let's do one more conversion, and this conversion here is going to take us from minutes to seconds. Since we have minute at the bottom, I'm going to write minute at the top, and one minute is the same thing as 60 seconds. Now check out what happens here. Minute at the bottom, minute at the top, we've gotten rid of those words. The only word we have left at the bottom is seconds, and that's exactly what we want right here. Now let's go ahead and multiply these with the calculator, but I will come back at the end and show you how to do this pencil and paper just in case you have to tackle this crazy problem without a calculator on some med dosage test. So looking at all of our top numbers here, we have 60 times 5,280 times 1 times 1. You multiply all of your top numbers together, and that's exactly what I've done here. So 60 times 5280, you don't have to worry about the ones. We get 316,800. There is our numerator. Now let's repeat this for the denominator. One times one times 60 times 60, we have 3,600. All you have to do there is take 60 times 60. Notice I did mention that earlier too, right? There's 3,600 seconds in an hour. So now let's take these two numbers here, the 316,800. We want to divide that by 3,600, and we get an answer of 88. This fraction will simplify to give us 88. Therefore, our answer is going to be 88 feet per second. 
And what this means is the following. If you are in your car and you are driving 60 miles per hour down the road, you are traveling at a rate of 88 feet per second. Think about that. 60 mile an hour, I'm pretty sure in the US we're familiar with what 60 miles an hour feels like. Well, look out the window, count one second, you just traveled 88 feet per second. Now let's have a look at how to do this pencil and paper. I'm gonna give you some multiplying shortcuts with fractions, which can be very beneficial when you're taking a med dosage test that's calculator inactive. So I've taken those four fractions and I've just thrown away the words because we know how to get the feet per second now, hopefully. But what I wanna focus on now is how can we multiply these big numbers or how can we avoid multiplying some of these big numbers by simplifying first. Just like when we were canceling words up top and the bottom with the minutes, the hours way over here and the miles, notice we have a 60 up top and a 60 at the bottom. Those will cancel out. Essentially what we're doing is we're multiplying something by 60 at the top and then we're multiplying something by 60 at the bottom. Don't do that, don't waste your time. Don't multiply by 60 up top and multiply by 60 at the bottom. They are going to cancel out. That's really 60 divided by 60, that's one. There's no need to do that. Therefore, what we have left now is 5,280, and we still have the feet, yes, but I'm just focusing on the numbers. That's the only number we have up top if we multiply all these out, and our bottom number is going to be 60 because we got rid of this one, so we have one times one times one times 60. Now, some other shortcuts. I'm trying to give you shortcuts to speed through this. We have zeros on the end, we can cancel those out. That's the same thing as dividing by 10 to simplify a fraction. And now you could divide by two here if you like, or you can go ahead and do long division. Let's do long division to see what happens. Let's take 528 and let's divide it by six. Six goes into five, nope. Six goes into 52, yes, it goes into it eight times because eight times six is 48 subtract, we get a remainder of four. Let's bring down our eight. Six goes into 48 perfectly, eight times, right? And if we subtract the 48, we do get that remainder of zero. What I want you to notice is that we get the exact same answer. Now, these multiplying shortcuts will be beneficial. I'll try to include those in the videos just in case you have to take a med dosage test that is calculator inactive. These shortcuts will save you a lot of time. And there you have it, example three, a multi-step problem involving rates. We will be doing quite a few of these in this series of videos because a lot of things you will be doing in nursing school in regards to math is you'll be dealing with some type of rate, as I mentioned earlier in the video. Milliliters per hour, grams per day, tons of other applications. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.